If after a month or so and you're not experiencing these beneficial changes, then you may need to go to the Probiotic Advantage Extra Strength. This has more bacteria in it, and for some people they just need that jump start. Uh, depending on what they've come in into the situation with, if they've been through a round of antibiotics, or and some people are just, everyone's a little bit different. And most people, when you get on the extra strength, you can take that for a while, and then you can back down and go back to the regular uh, probiotic advantage. Uh, some people don't. It's just like every, everybody's different. Every uh, system is different. So you kind of have to feel your way through. But I would say after a month, if you're not experiencing the difference, uh, I would definitely go to the probiotic advantage extra strength. The one thing you don't want to do is to stop taking the probiotic. Uh, you got to give it a chance. You got to be patient. Most of the time it works within a week for most people. Uh, everyone's a little different. Just stick with it and, and the benefits will come to you. And where you vary from the regular uh, probiotic advantage or you go to the extra strength, again, you'll have to figure that out and see how your system is, but you will see the differences. If, if you've gone for a long period of time and you're still having a lot of major complaints, then it's time to look at a digestive enzyme. Uh, and I, again, don't stop taking the probiotic. Uh, they work synergistically. The probiotic's something you need for the rest of your life, but a digestive enzyme can also be of help. In the upcoming weeks, I'll be offering more suggestions and tips about the digestive system as well as probiotics. But in the meantime, if you have any questions whatsoever, if you'll just post them on my Facebook page, I'll do my best to answer them.